Hey guys, I'm Pixel Dan, and this is a review of the Dark Knight Rises Movie Masters, Batman. You can't have a Batman Movie Masters line without the title character, so let's take a look at him. Batman comes on the same style Dark Knight Rises blister card packaging, featuring the Dark Knight Rises logo up top, along with that cool shattered Gotham City logo behind the figure. The back of that package shows off some of the other figures currently available in the Movie Masters lineup, along with a look at the Collect and Connect Bat Signal, a piece comes with every figure in this line. So taking a look at the Batman figure out of the package, here's the first thing that I need to point out about this guy. This is the exact same figure that we got in the Dark Knight Movie Masters line. There doesn't seem to be any changes whatsoever. Comparison time! Looking at them side by side, you can see that the only real difference here is that the new figure has a bit of a darker black in the paint job. Otherwise, the sculpts are exactly the same. They didn't make any changes between these two, so he's a complete repack. Now, if you didn't pick him up from the Dark Knight line, we'll still go ahead and take a look at him here today. The figure does offer some really nice detailing. I particularly have always been fond of the actual sculpt of the bat suit. I love all of the little rivets and the textures and details that are actually put in the bat suit itself. It's a really nice sculpt. It's mostly all black, but there are some different shades of black on there, so it does help it stand out. And on top of the black, he is wearing a nice gold bat belt. The head sculpt itself is decent. Of course, you can't really get much of a Christian Bale likeness since the whole mask covers most of his face except for his mouth. But one thing I did always like is that around the eyes, it does look slightly different from the mask, where it looks like he's actually wearing the black eye makeup around his eyes. I think that's a nice little touch. Now the cape on the figure is kind of thin, but because it looks like it's folded upon itself there, so it doesn't drape around his shoulders or anything like that. It is made of a harder plastic, but it does have some pliability to it. Uh, one thing that has always kind of bugged me about it is if you do pose him with his legs kind of spread out a little bit, the cape becomes longer than his legs and it does touch on the ground, making it a little harder for him to stand up. Now as far as the articulation goes, the head is able to turn left and right and slightly up and down. The head on mine is also really loose, unfortunately. The arms are able to move up and down, but the pads on the shoulders do hinder the movement a little bit. He has a bicep twist, he has a single joint at the elbow, he has a swivel at the wrist, he has a torso cut articulation and a waist swivel, hinge joints at the thighs, allowing for outwards, forwards, and backwards movement, a thigh cut, a single joint at the knee, and then a regular ankle joint. So all the rest of the articulation is nice and tight except for the head, which is unfortunately a little loose. But still, he's got a good range of motion for some pretty cool poses. Now one thing that's always really bugged me is the fact that he doesn't come with any accessories. At least a Batarang would have been nice. The San Diego Comic Con version's got Batarangs, and you can always use those with this figure if you get that version. But considering this figure is a straight repack from the Dark Knight line, I wish they would have at least included one or two Batarangs to go with him. Now since he doesn't have any weapons, he does still include a piece for that collect and connect bat signal. He actually has the square base piece, and if you get that, you can connect it with the piece that comes with your Bane figure to start building your bat signal. So there you go guys, there's a look at the Dark Knight Rises Movie Masters Batman. He's a pretty nice figure overall, but the problem is that most of us already have this figure. Seeing as how he's a straight repack from the Dark Knight line, the only real reason that you're going to want to buy this is so you can get that collect and connect bat signal piece. I kind of wish there was something else included with this figure to justify a purchase other than just that collect and connect bat signal piece. Some weapons are much needed here. Movie Masters Batman is on store shelves now, so happy hunting, and until next time.